my name is Rich Mancuso, and uh, I'm here today to tell you about a documentary me and my friends started filming a few months back. We went out to Detroit with a couple cameras, a couple ideas. We wanted to film the city. It was once a great city, now in a downturn. It was devastated. We were shocked. We wanted to document the underground music scene in Detroit. There's so much going on musically, always has been. And specifically, we wanted to talk about a band called Cold Is Life. A lot of you probably don't even know who Cold Is Life is. That's not even the point here. The point is their story is so interesting, it will appeal to everyone. We didn't know half of the things, half of the details until we went out there. Once we were out there, we were shocked. Their story involves kids in the street coming up, homelessness, murder, chaos, drugs, and violence. It's ridiculous. The story could rival any hip hop story. It could rival any early rock and roll stories you heard. And we're talking about the underground hardcore music scene. That's where Cold As Life came from, the streets they came from, Detroit. We want it all. We need some help to finish this project off, and we want you guys to be part of it. So check the trailer out, get an idea for what you're going to be part of, and you're going to love it, I promise. When you think of Detroit, you think of America. Real people, hard as fuck people. You know, you don't, you don't get much harder. Talking about the car industry, I mean, you had Motown, you had hardcore. It's where all the soul, that's like the soul of America when it comes to music. It's really getting rock and roll. I mean, the whole thing was all about, you know, growing up in Detroit. The MC5 was one of my bands, and Iggy got his start here. Every fucking band was pissed off. Detroit has a definite, definitive hardcore sound. Coldest Life, hardest fucking band I'd ever seen. The kid came to a show and was acting like an idiot. It's like, no, you don't do that. And we're going to show you why. Ron wasn't really a bully, in other words. He was more of an enforcer. Dude just was so beat down by Ron. His jaw, his jaw was hanging. He was destined to go after him because, you know, he's fucking with his boys. He didn't let anybody, anybody, come in from the outside that no one knew and do whatever they wanted to do without answering to him first. Rumors about Coldest Life, 90% of them are fucking true. I think it's the urban blight. I think it's kind of like this hopeless feeling of just being stuck someplace that's decaying. When you grow up here, you have to adapt or you're gonna end up dead. He's just one of fucking 600,000 unsolved cases that are out here. Shot him in his sleep, you know, three times in his fucking head because he didn't have no fucking balls. You're out there, Rich Wurstein. We're gonna find you. Cold as life is Detroit, and Detroit is cold as life. Would've killed your punk ass, can't touch me, sold your mouth. Dude, anytime I got mad, I listen to that song like three times a day. Anger, you know? And it's kind of just a sick feeling all the time. I was a kid, and the best place to put it was, uh, was up there on a stage. We were all American kids. Like, this is our rock and roll. This is our statement to the world. We're cold as life every day of our lives. 